In this recording, we look at transposition of formulae, that is rearranging of the formula, where the required letter that we want to solve for is on the denominator. So in particular, we will look at how we would rearrange the following formula. A divided by B equals C divided by D plus E divided by F, where we want to make F the subject of this formula. So the question is, how do we rearrange this formula to make F the subject? And it would be a good idea to start off by making the term involving F isolated. So E divided by F, if we could have that on one side of the equation and rearrange so that all other terms are on the other side, which means we would basically want to cancel C divided by D from this side of the equation. And we could do that by subtracting C divided by D from both sides of the equation so that we would get A divided by B minus C divided by D equals E divided by F. Now at this point, because F is what we're wanting to find, we just have a single term involving F on the right, but it can be convenient at this stage just to swap the left hand side and right hand side. So we'll just rewrite that simply as E divided by F equals A divided by B minus C divided by D. Now, sometimes at this point, people get tempted to take the reciprocal of each of these terms, but that is not correct. So we could not just write F divided by E equals B divided by A minus D divided by C. And you can see that's not correct if you think about any simple actual numbers and try doing that, you'll see it does not give a valid result. So what do we do? And the key at this stage is that on the right hand side, we need to rewrite this expression as a single fraction. In other words, we need to get a common denominator since we're subtracting fractions here. And we could get a common denominator by having BD on the denominator. And in order to do that, we would have to multiply numerator and denominator of A divided by B by D. So A on B times D divided by D. And with this term, C divided by D, we want to make that BD on the denominator. So we would multiply numerator and denominator by B. That is B divided by B times C divided by D. So that then gives us E divided by F equals AD divided by BD minus BC divided by BD. And from there, because we now have the same denominator, we can simply combine the numerator. So AD minus BC, and that's all divided by the common denominator of BD. And now that we have a single fraction on the left and a single fraction on the right, we can now take reciprocals of both sides. So that is, we get F divided by E, when we take reciprocal here, or in other words, flip that fraction over, is equal to BD divided by AD minus BC. And now we're almost finished. We wanted to make F the subject. F here is divided by E. So to cancel E from this side, we need to multiply both sides by E so that we would finally get F is equal to E times this expression here. And multiplying E by the expression on the right will in fact just put E into the numerator so that F is equal to E times B times D divided by AD minus BC. So this is an example where we transposed a formula where the letter that we wanted, which was F, was in the denominator. The main thing to be noting with the process is that we started by getting the term involving F on its own on one side of the equation. We then obtained a common denominator for the term on the other side so that we had a single fraction on each side 
and finally that then allowed us to take reciprocals of both sides and thus readily solve for f.